Hi everyone, I uh, thought I'd make a quick video on, and I say quick, but um, a video on um, a trade set up on the euro dollar. Now this is if you want to go long on the euro and expect some dollar weakness. So currently <clears throat> there's a CPR trade. So let me just explain what the CPR trade is as well as a, uh, as a stop hunt. Now with a CPR trade, um, you have to um, understand that uh, you know, you can't just trade at any level or any area. What you want to do is have an edge uh, over your opponent because this is a zero sum game. And so, um, to kind of explain it, if you haven't gone through the course, just as, as a quick um, uh, reminder, what you're looking for is obvious levels of support and resistance, right? Where traders would believe that prices are going, you know, to the downside or to a certain direction and then the traders get caught offside right so if we're looking at just this and at this point in time um you know this level looked like it was holding you know at one two three touches um the you know, traders believe the more times the level is touched the stronger it becomes lots of traders getting short in and around this area that's nice you know pin bars doji candles confirming price action that price is going to the downside and then all of a sudden you get a situation like this where traders are caught on the wrong side of the market. So they've already committed capital and had it captured in their position. And as prices come back down, um, they are looking to exit you know, their trades and why that works for us in terms of uh, some, uh, some supply and demand is because if you've gone short here, right? press sell then you have to buy to exit your trade and traders who are typically caught in their positions and going through the pain phase and now want some you know pain relief uh, this adds to the buying equation right the, the, the demand side of things traders who got short in and around here and here are now looking to potentially take profit in and around these areas as well and if they went short then they're looking to buy to take profit and traders who are entering new positions some may not be entering here but some actually may be entering at this level of uh support right here right so prices may react now i'd never say you know some people do place pending orders i like to look for how price reacts at levels and so what you still want to see is price react at a level and so um there's lots of demand potentially going on around here from a technical analysis perspective, but of course the fundamentals have to line up. And so um, as prices come into this CPR, you know, demand zone, um, nobody knows exactly where the turning point is going to be if there is at all. But ultimately, what is going to drive prices higher or what is going to drive prices lower? And so um, what's going to drive prices higher or lower depends really upon Thursday and core inflation. And so what is happening now is um, uh, it, it looks like you've got um, inflation that looks quite sticky, right? In terms of the Federal Reserve want the um, want inflation to come down, but the consensus and the forecast yeah is actually for inflation year on year is is saying that inflation may actually come in higher than the forecast for from trading economics own economists they're thinking that it might come in higher than the three percent now again nobody knows as i've said in um the in the uh in the message um, it looks like inflation is expected to stay sticky, which could mean more hype from the Fed if the if the forecasted data comes inaccurate. Bear in mind that the economists have been wrong, right? That economists have been wrong um, uh, more often now uh, for some strange reason uh, and haven't been through a tough time over the, over the past three, four months with their forecasts uh, for some odd reason. If you think that inflation will remain sticky, buying the dollar is a decent, decent idea, but only if current price is at fair value please refer to the video that i posted earlier um and also if you think that inflation should come in lower yeah which would then basically devalue the dollar then this would be a good price to enter along on say the eu if there is a valid entry so the setup is here right and this is what is known as a pre-entry again i went over this um in the video pre-entry and post entries and so this is what we would consider the pre-entry trade now um you know depending on how you enter, what you enter on, 
Maybe you're looking for a capture paint candle or you're looking for um, just pending orders or you're looking for a pin bar. Um, you know, um, I don't know what you what you tend to look for um, and depending on obviously the time frame that you're trading, but this whole area looks like a really nice area for a setup, but the setup itself and technical analysis, um, you know, will not necessarily work if you don't have the market that agrees with you, right? And and the market would agree with you if um, from a fundamental, you know, catalyst, meaning that if the dollar, uh, if the data comes in, you know, on the uh, Thursday as being, uh, you know, either supportive or um, not supportive for your trade, then prices are either going to go to the upside or they're going to go to the downside, right? And so at the end of the day, nobody knows. You can position yourself um, long if you want or just wait, right? You don't have to get into a trade. You can wait for prices to come out. Also as well, you do have a, um, a stop hunt below the level. So if prices go below and they come back inside the level, um, I think that is going to also be a really nice setup. So again, that may happen before the news. And if it does, then pretty much your risk is defined and your upside potential. If, you know, the, the Fed do decide to hold, it's going to be a very nice trade to the upside. There's also a really nice unfair auction around here as well. So that needs completing above the market. So really really nice there's been some unfair auctions heading into this lower um uh, uh price action as well so really 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 nice setups to the long side but this will be determined by the fundamentals 110 percent so if you want to get in um obviously wait for an entry and um, if price does come in or the, the news does come in and it goes against you, just get out of the trade, right? If you're in some profit, just you can either lock in profits, go to break even, um, exit your trade or just exit the trades, you know, cancel your positions. And then because you, you have to expect prices to go to the downside, right? And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just thought I'd go over uh, that those trade ideas and those trade setups. And so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I'm having a think on it at the moment. It does look like the probabilities are for dollar strength. So for me, if I wanted to get in on this trade, I would really have to wait for a decent pullback, you know, before I get in short. I'm not looking to buy the dollar um, at these lows. That's an expensive area. I don't want to buy the dollar at an expensive area. It's expensive here and it could be expensive here. And um, even if prices, you know, prove and go to the downside, I'm still going to wait for a pullback for prices to then, you know, uh, for me to look for a, a short trade uh, on the euro dollar, if I decide to trade the euro dollar, right, because I might be trading um, another currency that I think is uh, is weaker than the euro. So, yep, that's uh, the analysis. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, take care and speak to you all soon.